Uh, just a quick Cybertruck video. This is my homemade rack made out of uh, T-slot 8020 material. And I've got these uh, 3D printed TPU risers to mount everything to the truck. The Cybertruck has uh, little six millimeter studs under these covers and there's eight of them, four on each side. Uh, and I wanted some straight side rails that I could mount the crossbars to. And I don't know if you can notice here, but they're all different heights. So this actually takes eight unique risers to make this happen. So I've got some long barrel nuts. Uh, they come all the way up to about uh, the halfway mark. So there's lots of support for the, not only the stud, but for the riser. And then I've got some kind of hidden uh, little sockets so that I can mount the T-slot from the bottom up. So on the front rail, I made a little wind deflector and some end caps just to clean it up. Right now I'm hauling a 12 foot length of steel and it's easy to just strap it down tight with these looped ratchet straps. I just have three of them on for today. And then I just feed the straps back to the tailgate so they're not flopping around in the wind. But this works great. It's been uh, really sturdy. I like tying all eight points together. That way it uh, kind of gives support since the little six millimeter studs are a little bit dinky. I wanted everything to support uh, all the way around so this makes a nice um, grid. There's actually an angle that tapers so the uh, back of the truck is wider than the front. So I've got all the angles figured out in these top plates. I also made some little locators. Uh, these are front and rear because they have different angles, but that makes the crossbar square and you still get the taper of the rail. Well, there it is, homemade 8020 rack. Let me know if you want these files. I'll figure out how to share them. And I gotta get back to work.